Hi everyone, it's the Coin Housewife. I hope you've been enjoying my videos and I have another one here today. I'm going to show you how I make yellow rice, homemade yellow rice. Okay, so this is two cups of boiling water in a small saucepan. And before we put in our rice, we are going to put in, this is two tablespoons of butter and this is about one tablespoon of this um, chicken bouillon powder. It's really good. We're going to put this in. I'm going to show you the brand in one minute. Let's mix that in there. So that chicken bouillon is this right here. It's by Knorr. Chicken flavor bouillon. This is really the best I've ever tasted. Now if you're using like bouillon cubes you can use maybe like four of them. Okay, it's with chicken flavor. I've had dollar store bouillon before and <laughs> compared to this, I mean this is delicious. So try to remember this. Nor chicken flavor bouillon. It's a powder. Alright, and then for our yellow rice coloring we're going to use turmeric. This is a teaspoon of turmeric. Mix all that in. And that was this Simply Organic Turmeric from Whole Foods. I've actually had this for a while. And I actually like the taste of turmeric. And it's great for coloring your food too. Which in the case of yellow rice you're going to do. And then you're going to put in um, a little bit of black pepper. As much or as little as you want. a little bit of rosemary. I'm a big herb fan so I put a lot of stuff in. This rosemary right here. And we're going to put in some dill weed. Dill weed is very mild and it's really good for rice and salads meat, you know, chicken, anything you can think of. It's really good. Sorry for the wobbly camera. I'm doing this one-handed. Okay, and then you're going to put in one cup of rice. I use jasmine rice, so it's two cups boiling water. One cup of rice. Okay, get all those loose granules down from there. Mix it together. Oh god, it already smells good. If you were here, oh, this would just... Oh, it's wonderful. Okay, so... I'm just going to turn that up quickly. Back to a boil really quickly. And then we're going to cover this. I'm going to let it cook. And then we're going to uh, come back and finish the rest. So just remember when um, you're doing this, your flavor base really means a lot. So if you're going to use um, chicken bouillon, make sure you get one that you really enjoy because they're not all really made equally. Some herbs, and some people put garlic powder in it. I don't feel like doing garlic powder tonight. So we have this on a rolling boil, so I'm going to turn this all the way down to between off and low because my uh, my stovetop controls are very very um, how shall I say it my stove tends to like overcook rather than undercook so some people would put it on low I put it between off and low and we're going to get this cover it up and I will be back to show you what I do next. This is very simple, so see you in a minute. Okay everyone, we're going to look and see how our yellow rice is doing. Alright, nice and yellow and steamy. And you know this is going to be delicious. Okay, and if you notice, the rice is not 
sticky and that is something I've had to work on over time and I noticed for me the biggest um, problem was that I think I was using the wrong rice so we're gonna serve up this gorgeous golden yellow rice on a platter all right see you in a minute all right we're back and as you can see I have this golden yellow rice in a nice big flat glass platter and you know it's interesting because with only one cup of rice you get this really large portion and if you ask me I mean that amount of rice serves four people you know if you have two children and two adults in the house now for people who like to eat a little more you know maybe that won't serve as many so uh, this is what I like to do I sauteed some cherry tomatoes or actually these are midget tomatoes that we grew in our garden I sauteed these very very quickly with just a little bit of water you know just to make them to make them uh, cook them through enough to make them uh, palatable and so we're going to put these around the rice if you like to make uh, your food a little decorative when you present it to people this is a really good way to do it now um, most people do like tomatoes these little ones especially you know like kids they really like little baby tomatoes so this tends to keep everyone in the house happy so if you can see this on camera the way I do in real life here the um, the red looks really nice against the yellow of the rice you know they say there's a lot of um, a lot of appetite and desire for food comes from seeing the colors and um, I don't know about you but when I see like bright reds and greens in my food oh god it just makes me want to just gobble it all up that doesn't sound very feminine does it <laughs> but um, as you can see this is going to be very colorful and you get some vitamin C in here from the tomatoes, some lycopene, which is very good for you. All right, now that is all our tomatoes. You, of course, can put these, you know, you can throw them all over the rice if you want, whatever you want to do. But what I'm going to do now is I kept the middle open because I'm going to put some more dill weed on this in the middle. We're going to make it nice and green. Okay, so that is my yellow rice homemade, which is very easy to make. You just need a few ingredients. You need your rice, a little bit of butter, some black pepper and chicken bouillon and a little bit of herbs whatever you like and I will have this recipe written down in uh, below the video if you would like to copy it yourself okay oh, I can't wait to show this to my husband and to eat this tonight so excited and I hope you like this okay see you later